Steps to good health. Provide nutritional support. You need to determine a deficiency. We have a simple little nutritional deficiency questionnaire you can fill out if you're interested, or you can just go and there's a variety of websites that will help you determine what deficiency you have. Reduce external toxins, air and water filtration. Some of you are drinking tap water. I don't agree with that. I think you must filter tap water before you drink it or using in cooking. And I also believe you must filter your bath water. Now the easy way to do that is to use a shower filter and even uh, running the bathtub full of water through the shower filter is fine. But don't use the water that is coming out because the chlorine is very deadly to you. Proper food cleansing. If you will either spray your vegetables uh, and fruit and meat or anything else you eat with hydrogen peroxide or uh, put them in an ozone, uh, in a bag that has ozone gas forced into it, you will eliminate all of the external toxins including pesticides, bacteria, etc. And then all you need to do, if you want to, rinse them off and you'll get a couple of extra benefits. The uh, vegetables and fruit will last much longer in your refrigerator because you've taken care of the decay producing bacteria and you will have a lot of benefits as far as what you're eating is concerned. You will take in a lot less toxins. What percentage of hydrogen and water? Three percent hydrogen peroxide is just fine for that purpose. Straight up? Straight up. No dilution. Straight up. For washing vegetables. I'm not talking about drinking it. <laughs> washing vegetables in it. Reduce psychological stress. Let go and let God. I spend a lot of time with my patients talking to them about their purpose in life. All of us have a purpose in life and we are wrong if we don't find that purpose and follow through on it. And oftentimes serious illness is a wake up call to reevaluate your position. I'd like to, yes, meditation is very important. I believe that meditation on a daily basis combined with exercise on a daily basis and uh, you will avoid heart disease, you will avoid the high blood pressure and a whole bunch of other stress related disorders. Uh, a short while ago I showed you um, a slide on how deficient our diet is. But to make matters worse, the recommended daily allowances are actually too low. Vitamin E may prevent a heart attack, but not at the RDA level of intake. And that's what a lot of people get uh, uh, messed up with. They, they look at the RDA and it says, the RDA of vitamin E is uh, 12 units a day. And they say, well, uh, you know, my capsule here has uh, got 50 units in it. That's plenty for me. But that's really not the truth. So what should you do? Science says that supplements really are the answer for this uh, gross nutritional deficiencies that most of us are suffering from. And I was written up in the Los Angeles Times as the biggest quack of the century for recommending about 25 years ago that everybody should take a broad spectrum nutritional supplement. And today practically everybody agrees and almost everybody in one way or other is taking some kind of supplement. But it is important that the myths that high dosages of vitamins are dangerous have to be taken out of your mind. You must open your mind to the actual facts about it. And I know that there are many of you who don't believe in supplementing. You're going to get everything uh, from your foods. Well, just from prescription deaths alone, last year we had 120,000. Those are the ones that we have recorded. Who knows how many more peripherally were involved but how many were there from supplements? How much vitamin E should one take a day? 
We're going to get there, dear. <laughs> you know, I always have got people saying, well, how long should I really take this? As if it's going to hurt you if you take it a day or two longer. You know, um, my suggestion will remain the same. You should take a good program, and I have a what I call the Happy Life Protocol, that you should take right up until the last time they close the casket. Okay? <laughs> then you can stop. No more after that. You must learn that what you have been taught are just nutrients, are actually some of the most potent medicines you will ever use. As an example, Vitamin E slashes the risk of heart attack. Cambridge University says that the consumption of vitamin E can reduce the rate of heart attack by 75%. Is there a single drug on the market that can reduce the rate of heart attack by 75%? Why isn't your doctor giving you vitamin E? Doesn't know is the right answer. Vitamin E slashes the risk of heart attack. He included 2,000 individuals, all with heart problems. Over an 18-month period, half were given vitamin E and half were given a placebo. Heart problems in the vitamin E group was 25% of the placebo group, a 75% reduction. Not a small study, not 10 patients, 50, but 2,000. Scientists said that vitamin E was far more effective than such current treatments as aspirin and cholesterol-lowering drugs. I can give you data on nutrients such as B6, carnitine, CoQ10, cysteine, folic acid, etc. on heart disease also. There is no reason to have heart disease in this day and age of such knowledge, but it continues to be the number one killer. How much do you have to take of vitamin E? This study concluded that the ideal minimum was 400 units per day. The ideal minimum, that didn't say that some people couldn't take more. The ideal minimum daily requirement to stop heart disease was 400 units per day. And I heard someone say, well, doesn't vitamin E thin the blood? Yes, but the beautiful thing is that vitamin E helps to thin the blood when it's too thick, but it doesn't thin it to the point that it leaks through your blood vessel walls. It doesn't cause bleeding. I don't care how much you take. I have given 2,000 units a day to many patients. We've never had a problem with leaky blood vessels. You've got a question way back there. What's the difference between naturally and uh, manufactured? Vitamin E is sold in a variety of ways. D-alpha, D-L-alpha, succinate, etc., etc., to cough roll. Let's just say that the best information as of this point is that pound for pound, synthetic or manufactured vitamin E is one half as potent as natural vitamin E. In general, you are always better off to get a vitamin E that is based in, uh, that comes as a natural concentrate that has the other tocopherols other than alpha tocopherol, has beta, delta, zeta tocopherols in it. Because now we're finding uses for some of the other tocopherols. We always thought that they were just there. But nothing is just there in nature. Okay. You can take alpha, billions of people. The study was done with D alpha tocopherol. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, the oil capsule in general, but you can now get oil soluble vitamin E in a powder form. So it, uh, 
you know, the technology of today has gone a long way since I started in this industry. Here's a Harvard study. 88,000 nurses. That's a, a bundle of nurses, isn't it? Studied for 15 years as to the incidence of colon cancer. Those who took a vitamin supplement with just a tiny 400 micrograms of folic acid had a 75% lower rate of colon cancer. Arginine. There's just been an absolute explosion of interest in arginine in the research world. Take 20 years for it to hit the doctor's offices, but three to 14 grams of arginine inhibits the growth of cancer cells. And for those of you who are interested, the famous Jimmy Keller remedy, um, Tumorex, was arginine. What about selenium? Selenium is very, very important. Uh, a great researcher down in San Diego, Dr. Schrauser, says that if we gave our kids 200 micrograms of selenium a day, there would be an 80% reduction in all cancers. 80% just with that. Just think of what if you gave them a little bit of everything. Instead, do any of you, are you on the internet? Any of you play on the internet? Oh, yeah. 24 hours a day if you want to listen to me. If you can stand it that long. Yeah. www.letstalkhealth.com. Letstalkhealth.com. 20, you need a computer. Yes. Okay, I'm going to say good day. I thank you all for such a great time. Thank you very much. God bless.